Hi everyone, I am Nathan Kaki, National Makeup Stylist for Napoleon Purtis. I am so excited to come to IGTV to do a couple of tutorials for you. The exciting thing is Napoleon Purtis is about to launch a few fantastic products. So what I've done is created a couple of tutorial looks using these fantastic products. You will freak when you use these. They are amazing. Pure pigment, buttery, vibrant, gorgeous for winter, fabulous for summer. I'm super, super excited. We haven't really done something like this for a long time and we have all been waiting and finally they've arrived. So I'm excited, can't wait for you to see them. I've already primed Bridget's skin and now I'm coming in with our stick foundation. The reason why I'm using this is just because it's very quick to put on. It has a beautiful build to it uh, and you don't need to use a lot to create a fabulous finish. I'm using our 24 hour brush. I'm just buffing. And now I'm coming in with the one concealer. I love this one. It's got a little bit of a peach tone. If you've, you're a little bit darker under the eyes, uh, it's just going to brighten it rather than lighten it. When I apply the one concealer, I like to use an, a soft eyeshadow brush. Take a little bit of the product, put it on the back of my hand, and then I softly buff it into the skin and you'll get such a soft, light application, you will always feel like you're in full control. Next step, I'm going to apply the one concealer onto the lids. You really, all you're doing is just buffing this just to make a soft, beautiful, clear application. Getting rid of any deep tones, blood vessels. You don't want a lot. This a little bit goes a long way. That's what I love about this product. And remember, less pressure on the brush. You don't want to push too hard. What I'm doing now is I want to seal up my wet products and I'm using Camera Finish Powder Foundation, which is beautiful. It's very soft and it's bland. Just make sure that you blend away any concealer that's moved slightly, because if you don't, once you powder, you'll actually lock the separation in. So this is G1, G4. I'm starting with G, G1 and I'm just mushing into the eyes with a soft, 22B brush down the center. And then I'm coming with my larger brush and I'm using G4. You don't need a lot, mushing, locking in that powder. Okay, let's work on the brows. I want a fluffy, sculptured, nothing too full on, just really beautiful groomed brows, slightly filled in, nothing too boomeranging. And I'm going to use Pale Rider and Chocoholic. Starting off with Pale Rider first. Rather than work from the inner corner to the outer corner, I like to work backwards because I want to go against the grain of the hair. So if I brush these little babies down, this means the pencil will go in onto the skin and it won't jump. You will get a little freaked out thinking it looks a bit messy when you do it this way, but trust me, once you place the hairs back into position, be like, oh my God, that's brilliant. And even if you bend your wand, so you have more control. Ultimate contour palette in dark, beautiful. Woo, colors, starting with the contour. And I'm really just working this underneath the cheekbone and I'm kind of pushing up into the cheek to give it more definition. After I've done underneath the cheekbone, I'm then just working under the jawline, down the neck a little bit. Uh, so then now I'm going to work around the outer edge framework of the hairline. So I'm just pop pop popping and polishing. Don't overload the brush. You need very little product because it's quite a pure pigment which we love. So now I'm going to add a little bit of the blush and I'm just working on just the top of the curvature of the cheekbone. So I'm just adding a little bit of product. And then the sweeping. It has a very strong palette payoff, so just make sure you're gentle with your application and make sure you're not pushing the brush or being really aggressive with it. So now I'm going to add the highlights. Uh, these actually have Imprints, the name imprints, contour, blush, and highlight. So it always helps you, especially if it's a little bit dark in the mornings. <laughs> <laughs> so just taking a little bit of highlight and just work it on the top of the cheek. 
I've added a little bit of highlight on the top of the cheekbones. I also want to add on a little bit of highlight on the bridge of the nose. It just makes everything nice and tiny and gorgeous. I'm doing a soft, smoky chocolate combination on the eyes today. Uh, I'm using Skinny Dip, Espresso to Go, and Chocolate Ganesh. So I'm using a tight bristle brush. This one is called 10B. Uh, I apply a little bit of the Skinny Dip and then I work it flat. I call it flat bedding the brush. So you're using this part of the brush. And then I like to use my finger to just kind of mush everything in to keep it seamless. I have this little method and I find it does two things. It keeps the fallout from the eyeshadows from falling down, but also gives me a really nice angle. So I just take a tissue, fold it in half, and then again. Place it from corner of the nose, corner of the eye, just like that. Take a soft bristle brush and my espresso go, load, tap. And then you literally just buff into the socket line from the outer edge. So you can be quite messy. I mean, this is a very fast, quick way of applying a smoky eye without getting into too much trouble. And then when you pull away, you actually have a nice angled lift. So that creates your starting point. So this gives you a bit of a framework to work from. So once I've got my framework, then I take a tight bristle brush. I add a little bit more of the espresso to go and just work it underneath to halfway. Bring it up to connect. I do love that sort of pushing product out because it, it lifts the eye and gives it a real kind of sexy cat-like finish without looking too full on and aggressive. What I'm doing here is just bringing the shadow around. It's kind of like a halo eye, but with an angle. Uh, I just find when you bring eyeshadow underneath, it gives it a sexy, smoky, soft finish. Remember, work tight bristles, load, loose bristles, blend. Now I'm coming in, we want our products to multitask. I'm actually using the Ultimate Contour Palette in Dark. And I'm just washing a little bit into the crease of the eye and then up into the brow. If you have hooded eyes, make sure once you get to your deepest tone and you want to bring it up, keep your eye open and gradually work it up beyond the crease point. And that will create a beautiful lift. So I'm using my one of my favorites, Chocolate Ganache, and I'm using my tight bristle brush. I'm going to work underneath the eye line and then up over the top lash line, load, press on the back of my hand to make sure that I've, I'm kind of pushing that product into the brush and then working it from this side. I'm kind of going all the way in, but not to the inner corner. And you're gonna come over, tickling the top lash by placing chocolate ganache right into the roots. Mascara, own it, jet, super black, beautiful. Love this stuff. Um, I'm using a disposable one, but you would obviously use... It has this very cool combination comb situation happening. One for loading, one for blending. So good. It gets that really beautiful, fluffy, layered look, and they won't look clumpy. I love to wiggle in applying mascara. And this will get between the lash, which will help these little babies stand up. I really like to put a lot of product on the bottom lashes. It just opens the eye and makes a huge difference. Just to finish off with the eyes, I'm going back to the Ultimate Contour Palette and I'm using the highlighting shade. And I'm just going to tap a little bit of the highlighter to the center of the eye. So all I'm doing is just patting and pressing. A soft brush, adding a little bit more of the dark, just to finish off, a little bit more mood and sexiness. Lips, caramel kiss. Lip Veil, beautiful, love this stuff. Very peachy, such a gorgeous texture. Yummy smell. Just adding a little bit to the back of my hand.